This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. In my childhood, Up With People was a popular music group, and I remember seeing them on television. The lyrics of one of their songs, What Color Is God's Skin, offer important wisdom for us today. Of course, God does not have skin per se because he is a spiritual being, yet the point of the song is noteworthy. Allow me to quote the first verse of the refrain. Good night, I said to my little son, so tired out when the day was done. Then he said as I tucked him in, tell me, daddy, what color is God's skin? What color is God's skin? I said it's black, brown, it's yellow, it is red, it is white. Every man's the same in the good Lord's sight. It is no secret that the United States is experiencing bitter divisions. The expressions of animosity among differing groups that we hear about in the news is very saddening. As followers of Jesus, we are called to be a healing balm for our nation by sharing the love of Jesus with everyone. We are all created in the image and likeness of God. We all share equal dignity. The compendium of the social doctrine of the church puts it this way. Since something of the glory of God shines on the face of every person, the dignity of every person before God is the basis of the dignity of man before other men. Moreover, this is the ultimate foundation of the radical equality and brotherhood among all people, regardless of their race, nation, sex, origin, culture, or class. End of quote. Of the many causes of division in our land, the ugly sin of racism keeps raising its head. St. John Paul II said, Racism is a sin that constitutes a serious offense against God. End of quote. He also stated, Every upright conscience cannot but decisively condemn any racism, no matter in what heart or place it is found. End of quote. I wish to make three suggestions for us to overcome the sin of racism in our society, which requires a conversion of heart. First, we must start with ourselves and carefully examine our thoughts, words, and actions each day. Ask yourselves these questions. Have I harbored derogatory thoughts about a person of a different race or about a different race in general? Have I made any rash judgments of people based on race? Have I said anything disrespectful about persons of another race? Have I mistreated people due to their race? Second, if any of these questions is yes, seek the Lord's mercy and apologize for your behavior. Third, meditate on this. When God looks at every human person, he sees someone that he absolutely delights in. Let us strive to regard others in the same way. Let us strive to show the love of God to everyone. We are all made in the image and likeness of God, and we are precious in God's eyes. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.